What's up guys, we're back here with some Superior Ascension Crystal information and this is crazy. So this event is aimed at returning players and in order to get these Superior Ascension Crystals, you have to group up with returning players, get a special buff from them. So you get that buff by having them activate it while you're in a party I believe, uh, or just be partying with them. And then you have to turn in these three daily quests that you get from the Daru that we found earlier for this event. So the Ascension Crystal Quest, you get three of them a day, one for the 3v3 scrimmage arena, so you have to win one of those matches, one for killing 200 Aurora mobs, one for spending 1,000 labor. Once you turn these into the Daru and you have that special buff on your hero, you're going to be awarded with this and then another new quest. So these are the quests thanks to JX Revy on the official forms. You'll notice that it is Defeat the Red Dragon. So you're going to get 10 Penance, an Ascension Crystal, a Superior Ascension Crystal, an Ascension Key. This is what the returning players get. The existing players get the 10 Penance, the Ascension Crystal, Superior Ascension Crystal, and then the Locked Ascension Crate. In order to open up the ascension crate that's locked you need the key from a, a a returning player so you have to take a new returning player that hasn't been active in Arcage for over 30 days they have to go into their glyph account grab this package use this item buff you guys turn in the first quest then you have to go and now compete and kill the red dragon here you don't actually have to kill do the killing blow but you have to you know be there get a hit on the red dragon and that will trigger this reward right here so that is the first quest that is crazy then the second quest is even crazier the second quest is defeat kadoom kadoom is a another world boss and then the last quest is very similar defeat anthelon another world boss so three of the hardest monsters, bosses, raid creatures in the game in order to get these ascension crates or keys that you're going to need. So this is pretty much non-existent for most players. Forget about getting these superior ascension crystals. You have 28 days to get 40 of them to get your permanent mounts. Pretty much forget about it, guys. Most people aren't going to be having a returning player and then be able to do this every single day. You need to do this about twice every single day. You need to kill two of these raid bosses every single day. This is a ton of work. Plus, right now, the glyph accounts aren't actually showing the returning packages to everyone. So this is an account that I haven't logged in for over 30 days. So they should have the returning package. But you'll notice in here, we don't have anything from 2.9 yet, and it is now halfway through June 1st. So the time is ticking for this. We're not getting our items uh, like we're supposed to. We have compensation from 2.0, but we don't have anything from 2.9. And then some people are also reporting that they're not getting the correct items out of their compensation pack. There was a 2.9 pack in the Glyph store, and then when they clicked on it, they got actually a 2.5 welcome back package rather than a 2.9 package. So right now, there's just a whole bunch of smorgasbord of mistakes and fuck-ups, just like always with Trine Worlds and this event. They could not make this event more complicated if they wanted to. This is absolutely horrendous. Like... I'm a fairly smart guy, but me trying to figure this out, it took like a day and then I had to read all these forms and threads and if if I were trying to figure this out on my own, no way, forget about it, not going to happen, uh-uh, and yeah, I mean, again, I think I'm fairly smart, fairly intelligent, so I mean, I, I don't, I, you know, may have a couple marbles loose in my head, but overall, decent, average intelligence, and I was completely lost on how to get these things. And reading the information that Tryon World provided, not very good. Here, I'll show you the Tryon World page. So it says get all the information here with their, their website page. So for loyal players, you get yada, 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 you get some stuff. So this was on the Glyph store. And for loyal players, you're going to get 50 Merit Badge, 50 Warrior Medals, 50 Tax Surge, 3 Bound Workers Compensation, a Supply Chest, and then the Gear Ticket. 
with a couple other things as well sprinkled in. And then they go into the returning players, and this is where the, the whole event thing gets insanely complicated. So returning players, you can claim it once per account. Uh, you're going to get all these great benefits. You're going to get the new gear, uh, the Soul Forge gear tickets. You're going to get some buffs, these buffs that you can supposedly reapply over and over again until June 28th. You can use this item an unlimited number of times until June 28th. So the Homecoming Warrior Blessing, um, this item is supposed to give you a three-hour buff, but you can use it an unlimited amount of times. So why simply didn't they just give you a 28 permanent buff? Why do they want you to reapply this over and over again? I guess it's because they need you to reapply it to a party member when they come into your party so they can unlock the superior ascension crystals. Uh, but again, craziness right there. I mean, who's going to know that? Now you got the homecoming warrior supply chest. You, they're giving out a free cottage, yada, 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 more stuff. And then you get this 30-day version of a mount, pet, or glider that you can pick. And they're like, you can make this permanent by collecting 40 superior ascension crystals from the quest list below. And they show you really no quest whatsoever listed below. They say, go to the Daru and talk to the Daru and you'll get quests. And then you'll get locked ascension crates and ascension keys. They don't explain how to really do this. The, they say the quest rewards are different for current and returning players. Um, not really. You get the crates and then you get the key after the second one, but how do you get returning players to part with their key? But first, how do you even get the key, guys? I mean, look at this. This is supposed to explain everything right here. So they say, uh, permanent, all these quests are available to characters who are over level 40 and can accept it from an auctioneer. The rewards are different for current players. They give you no information about the quest, and they give you no information that you have to actually use a stupid buff item on your, your, your kind of mentor player, and... So like, now they say, in order to open the Ascension Crate, which you will never see the Ascension Crate because you don't know how to get the Ascension Crate because you don't know how to use the buff item on a hero. And then you, ah, ah, it's so crazy. They don't give you any information whatsoever how to do this. And thanks to all the people in the forums and Reddit, they figured this out. But Trine World is completely incompetent when it comes to running a game, events, or anything of that nature. Trine World's is incompetent completely. I hate trying worlds. Ugh. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been another rant. And I hope you enjoy 2.9. 2.9 means the install button. Click the install button. That's what 2.9 does for Arcage. And I will talk to you guys later.